हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मयूर सहायता एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अनदर केस विच इज रिलेटेड विथ टू द विटामिन बी वन डेफिशियंसी विच इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज द थियामीन सो लेट स्टार्ट द केस प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो सो फिफ्टी नाइन ईयर ओल्ड मेल ब्रॉड टू द इमरजेंसी डिपार्टमेंट एंड द पर्सन वॉज confused and disoriented that means there is a mental stability is not there okay fine unsteady gait ataxia like not able to walk properly and the patient has been he giving the history of what he has been a heavy drinker yeah so this is very uh, important positive finding he has been very much heavy drinker and no known medical problem there is no other medical problem no means diabetes hypertension nothing is there and he is also having the rapid eyeball movement which is known as the nystagmus and when urine examination is done the drug screen is negative there is no drug present but the blood alcohol is positive means the person has also uh, taken the alcohol before so what should be administered into this patient and what is the likely diagnosis so you must understand when the three things are present what are those three things one is unsteady gait which is known as the ataxia then memory problem dementia and eyeball problem then that case belongs to mainly wernick korsakoff syndrome so into the wernick korsakoff syndrome the person having the history of a heavy alcohol drinking and this alcohol prevent the absorption of the vitamin b1 from to the intestine so that person suffers from to the vitamin b1 thiamine deficiency and this thiamine deficiency leads to this type of uh, problems that is a brain problem eyeball problem and uh, unsteady gait so we will discuss a thiamine in detail in one by one dif different different questions so the first question answered what should be administered so that person should be administered thiamine which is known as the vitamin b1 perfect so let's take the other question what are the different uh, presentations of the thiamine deficiency so if the person is suffering from the thiamine deficiency what are the different uh, clinical presentations so for that uh, we will must remember different types of the berry berry yeah so one presentation simply is a berry berry which is berry berry means weakness weakness its meaning is weakness so the person is uh, having a uh, in routine daily life the person is suffering from to the weakness but into the berry berry also there are three main types actually one which is known as the wet berry berry another which is known as the dry berry berry and infantile berry berry now into the wet berry berry there are mainly cvs related problems I mean what cvs related problems are there so person uh, heart cannot pump properly okay the energy is deficient uh, why energy is deficient we will just discuss uh, but the if energy is not there the heart is not able to pump enough amount of blood so what will be there there will be the edematous limbs yes there will be edema of to the limbs also develop person may develop ascites so that is known as the wet fluid accumulation occurs in this type of berry berry that's why it is known as the wet berry berry then the other one is the dry berry berry in which the neuronal problems are mainly motor problems sensory problems just like here the person is having ataxia unsteady gait that means there is a neuronal problem so motor problem sensory problem unsteady gait that type of berry berry is known as the dry berry berry and what is the infantile berry berry when the mother is suffering from to the thiamine deficiency so definitely into the breast milk also the vitamin will be less and so child also will be suffer from to the infantile berry berry in which what are the main key symptoms then the child will not sleep properly sleeplessness and restlessness is seen among the children 
So what are the different presentations of the thiamine deficiency? So it can be simple, very very. That is, it can be wet, it can be dry, it can be infantile, or this one is also among them, Wernicke's Korsakoff syndrome, and the sixth one, which is known as the polyneuritis. Yes, multiple neuronal inflammation, polyneuritis is also very common. Now, what is the coenzyme for the thiamine? So, what is the coenzyme form of the thiamine? Then you must understand the TPP, which is known as the thiamine pyrophosphate. Thiamine pyrophosphate. There are two phosphates along with bind with each other and they are bound to the thiamine ring. So, thiamine pyrophosphate. It is the coenzyme form of the thiamine. Now describe the reactions in which it works as the coenzyme. So we will remember three main key enzymes in which the thiamine pyrophosphate plays the key role. Now what are those enzymes? So they are actually belongs to you must take yourself to the TCA cycle. Very important cycle. Yeah. It is the hub of metabolism. Lipid metabolism, carbohydrate metabolism, protein metabolism. Ultimately, everything reaches to the TCA cycle. But into the uh, carbohydrate metabolism, this mainly plays the role. So, PDH, pyruvate dehydrogenase. There are two dehydrogenase enzymes in which the thiamine pyrophosphate plays the key role. And uh, five, alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. So, among the two main key enzymes, one which is the pyruvate dehydrogenase. What is the role of the pyruvate dehydrogenase to convert pyruvate to the acetyl coenzyme A? So before acetyl coenzyme is the main requirement for the TCA cycle. So pyruvate is not converted into the acetyl coenzyme A when there is a deficiency of the thiamine because for the functioning of the PDH, which is the pyruvate dehydrogenase, its functioning thiamine is required. So Acetyl coenzyme is not formed and it is the main fuel for the ATP production. And so ATP production is deficient. And if the ATP production is deficient, which are the main key organs which require the energy in continuous amount? So one is the neuronal symptom and another is the cardiovascular symptoms. So that's why if the vitamin deficiency is there, the energy production is affected and mainly neuronal and the cardiac tissues are affected. Fine. So second one is a 5-alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. Yes, that enzyme is also the enzyme of the TCA cycle which converts alpha ketoglutarate into the succinyl coenzyme. So that is also affected. The third one which is known as the transketolase. Ketolase, aldolase. Yes, these are the enzymes mainly playing role into the HMP shunt pathway axose monophosphate shunt pathway which is the key pathway for the production of the NADPH. So if the vitamin B1 is affected then this transketolase activity will also be reduced and if it is reduced HMP shunt pathway is gonna to be affected and if HMP shunt pathway is gonna to be affected then the NADPH production will also be reduced. So these are the all enzymes related to the vitamin B1 in which vitamin B1 works as the coenzyme. Very good. Now the fourth question, what is the RDA of the thiamine? Actually recommended daily allowance of the thiamine depends on to our uh, carbohydrate diet. So if we our carbohydrate diet is more, vitamin B1 is required more. It is almost required 0.5 milligram per thousand kilocalorie. So normally uh, we require 2400 kilocalorie if the person is working very hard 3000 kilocalorie. So its uh, recommended allowance will also be vary between 1 to 1 1.5 or you can say 1.5 to 2 milligram per day. It's clear. So 0.5 per 1000 kilocalorie. Now the fifth question, uh, who are more prone to develop the thiamine deficiency? So always remember thiamine is mainly present into the cereals. It is itself present into the wheat, into the rice, it is present. But into the whole wheat, whole rice, if the rice is very much polished, thiamine is lost. 
if the wheat we uh, consume the very refined flour of the wheat uh, just like maida in biscuits in pizzas then that refined uh, uh, wheat flour is not containing the thiamine so thiamine is lost so who are more prone to develop the thiamine deficiency the one you must understand in our case also that is the alcohol consuming persons who are consuming so much amount of the alcohol because alcohol inhibit the absorption of the thiamine uh, these persons will suffer from the thiamine deficiency even pregnancy when requirement is very much high they can suffer pregnancy lactating women in which then infantile delivery can occur and who are eating a very refined who are eating very refined flour yeah means refined wheat refined uh, uh, you can say polished rice they are also very prone to suffer from the thiamine deficiency so thiamine very important vitamin for our body's metabolic functions uh, so now you can directly link why this wet very very dry very very occurs you can say severe symptoms neuronal symptoms and in our case like a wernick korsakoff syndrome how it is linked with to the thiamine deficiency so it is through the enzyme activity as a coenzyme thiamine works so this is all about today's video uh, thanks for listening